Look at the difference from inside the fence and outside the fence. Um, yeah, this pasture is toasted. Back up off the gate, buddy. Back up, back up, back up. What are you talking about? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just walking down to the barn to uh, prepare things for my wife to shoot her video. She was shooting her intro back there for her Do Your Best channel. I think I might start my videos the way she does now. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I told her she sounds like Paula Dean. Hey, y'all. So, what's up, guys? We are... Uh, trying to survive a drought and it is incredibly rough it has been unbelievably dry we're hitting daytime temperatures of 110 pretty much all week this week our pastures are toasted we haven't had a measurable amount of rainfall in probably two months copper buddy who wants this bucket and um without any rainfall in two months you can imagine what it i mean you can see what our pastures look like so i'm trying to get the goats turned out hey get off of me give me some space i'm trying in the evenings to turn the goats out for 30 or 45 minutes the problem is is they're so used to being fed they just like instantly come back to the barn used to for years i just turned my goats out and let them graze. I didn't even keep them pinned up at all during the summertime. And that's why right there, look at the pasture. So what I'm doing is getting a bucket of feed and trying to get them to follow me out there. Copper, don't knock me down. But uh, it doesn't always work. So the hard part is, uh, you know, turning the goats out, but not the rest of the animals. I really don't want ralph and pepper and the alpacas to get out get back get back i really don't want the rest of them to get out because i can feed them while the goats are out hey goats come on come on goats come on goats come on goats you bunch of beggars come on oh go back in go back in Perfect. now we'll go up there and we'll feed the other animals feed ralph and pepper and the alpacas Let's see, it is 7.38 and the goats are out on a little bit of, let's call it taller grass. We're not going to say good quality grass by any means, but look at the difference from inside the fence and outside the fence. Um, yeah, this pasture is toasted and where they're at right now the creek runs right through here but what they'll do is they'll go to the end of this pasture go around go all the way around all their pastures and come up to the barn or they'll go follow the creek bank down and go around that way all the way up the driveway and come around by the house but it's like i said yeah i see ralph he's eating 739 we'll see how long it takes them to get to uh get bored of actually grazing like a goat should be doing right now and come back to the barn. They just aren't trained the way they used to be. I used to turn them out all the time. They run around and graze, do their own thing. Hey, what? why'd you dump it out on the ground? Ralph was eating it. I know, that's because Pepper <clears throat> wanted some food. I know, we'll take them up to the barn and feed them, but I wasn't going to dump Ralph's feed on the ground here. Oh, my bad. So they will graze some, but man, this is not great pasture either right now everything's just dried up and crunchy isn't it mama goat but maybe they'll graze for 30 minutes or so bear you keep an eye on them take care of them we're gonna go help mom so what you guys normally see on video is just the area right up here close to the barn and uh it's a lot of dirt but that doesn't mean our all of our pastures look like that i mean we've got good pasture here it's just uh 
without any rain it hasn't been able to grow and uh, it's really i don't know probably a good thing that we sold the mini herefords because we would really be hurting for grass right now if we still had four or five cows on this um the back pasture really really needs a needs a break needs some rain but uh you can see look at the difference so in the shade right here you guys can see this look at this line where the grass is different this is shaded all day and then over here is sun <laughs> it blows my mind just i mean when it's 105 110 degrees you know the, the grass just can't handle it it just looks like look at the little green spot under the tree right there so with that being said we've now resorted to have to starting having to start feeding round bells of hay already in mid-july so i got one out in here for the goats and the cow and alpacas and then the other ones on the other side of that fence for dj's donkeys well the emily the chicken's not eating the duck but the rooster is very confused of um what that duck is what's up buddy houston's putting some feed out for you you know that why don't you come eat So it is definitely not ideal to be feeding hay in July because that means we're going to be feeding hay. Not Usually we don't start feeding hay until like October, sometimes November. Um, so that's July, August, September, October. That's an extra four months of hay. And we're not going to get a second cutting of hay off of this place. We made 14 bales this year where we typically make about 30. Our other property has a pretty big hay field on it, but I was over there yesterday. It looks bad. Like the gra grass is just standing dead right now. It's drying up, burning up. So I don't even know if we're going to get to cut that. So we may be in a pickle this year. What is going on over here? Well, I think these are too big. Unless I have it on wrong. Brand new halters and they don't fit. Oh, you poor Phoebe. I, it was a, it was a guess. But you were like, oh yeah, they'll definitely fit. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Eventually. Oh. Keep Pepper's mud hole full of water. That's what keeps the ducks happy more than anything. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> DJ and the kids just turned Lucy out into this pen and let Fallon back in with Freedom. Jerry's saying hello to his his youngest lady friend. Gross, dude. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Are you hot chicken? You need a cool down? Lucy loves a good cool down, don't you? There you go. I try to keep you cool while it's hot like this. Well, they like it. Some of them like it. Some of the ducks like it. These little ones, not so much. Where's the big ducks at? You need a bath too, Dolly? I wouldn't, I wouldn't hey, if you turn, there you go. <laughs> you just laid in Pepper's mud hole. It's kind of gross, but I guess it's wet. 
You did not hear thunder. Oh, it's them. I wish you heard thunder, Houston. That would be amazing if you heard thunder. Emily, you didn't have softball today. Thank goodness. What's the high today? Is it like 118? 110. No. Hot. It was really hot today, wasn't it, Houston? Oh, Jerry. Oh. What in the world? You need to slow down eating. Hey, he's finally getting to where he'll let me spray him with the water hose. Usually he would just barely let the water touch him and then he'd run away. Steve, where are you going? He's going to the feed trough. What's up, Pepper? <laughs> hmm? What's up, girlfriend? I don't have any treats. No, I'm watering right now. I got you some fresh water, though. I filled up your mud hole with fresh water. Good talk. You look like a hippo walking away. dumping out all these water troughs and look at this i did this the other day and about nine billion of these big giant black ants came out look at them going everywhere and when the chickens and ducks find them oh my goodness what in the world i don't quite think that's what she's made for she's a little bit small still Yeah, here's what I'm talking about right here. Look at her. You tell your friends, you need to get rid of those black ants. Here, this one's full. Got a switch. This out, guys. It's 8:05 and 102 degrees still at 8 o'clock. That's why I come out here morning, noon, and evening and try to keep these animals in as much fresh water as I can. Spray the alpacas down in the morning and the evening. Keep pepper and a couple nice mud holes, which really kind of turns into more like duck holes than anything but i'm telling you it's hot and these animals are feeling it i know there's a lot of farms around the country that are in a lot worse shape than we are with grass and heat and everything but we're fortunate enough that most of our pastures are have a lot of shade so at least the animals can get in the shade and survive the heat but man i it's just rough on animals once it's hot it's rough on me it's rough on you too, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's 8 o'clock. It's still 102 degrees. Jeez. Steve, you guys enjoy getting a break from the goats for about 30 minutes? Y'all can eat in peace for a little while? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Huh, Pepper? You like to eat by yourself. Them goats are bullies, aren't they? they look like you got a big old loogie on your head, but it's not. You guys see her little mohawk up there? <laughs> Pepper, as long as you've been here, you still won't let me pet you. You'll eat out of my hand, but you will not let me pet you. You've been here forever. Hmm? I spend all kinds of time with you. Look at you. Snotty. You're a brat. That's what you are. You're just a brat. I'm going to go back here and check on the goats. I'm telling you. For years, I never fed a bit of grain in the summertime, but it's because I was able to just turn the goats out and let them graze. Then they come back up in the yard every night. So we always had goats sleeping in the yard, sleeping in the driveway, and uh, they could go off and graze this entire place. The cool thing about goats is they will never cross water. They will not get their feet wet unless they're forced to. So my creek is like a permanent barricade for goats. They'll never cross it. I mean, I and 
10 or 12 years, I never had a goat walk across the creek. But I would have them go across fences onto my neighbors, and I really don't like that. That's not very neighborly, even though most of my neighbors had said they didn't care if the goats came over there. But uh, we've kind of changed things up, and we've expanded, got more pastures. So we've tried to keep them contained, and uh, it's, it's changed their the way they operate. They don't like to go off on their own anymore like they used to. They have been out grazing for about 30 minutes, and uh, I'm kind of proud of them. They haven't gone anywhere, obviously. The gate's still right there, but they have been grazing until I walked over here and started talking. But uh, I'm going to hang out with them for a little while, let them do their thing, and we'll let them back in here, and then they can go eat some grain. But I'm trying to get them some actual fresh brows because that kind of stuff over there is not what goats are intended to live on they do much 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 better on you know tall brows they're like a deer they're not a grazer they don't graze like a cow unless they have to but uh this is what they enjoy once they get used to it they're not sure about being outside their pen right now so one thing about goats in the past, for me anyways, in my experience, they would always go off to the pasture and off in the brush and graze. They eat, goats like to eat with their head up. They like to eat the leaves and shrubs and brush and stuff before they'll eat just straight off the ground. But they would disappear for, I don't know, a couple of hours most days. And then you look outside and they'd be sitting in the driveway all laid down, just sitting there chewing their cud by the barn. And then they'd lay there and rest. See, look at that goat right there. See how she's raised up on that tree? Anyways, they would uh, lay at the barn and sleep for a couple hours. And then they'd take off and be gone for two or three hours. And they'd do that all day throughout the day. And they always come back to the barn and sleep right there by the barn every night. But this is next best thing. Best thing we can do right now. I'm not going to turn them all out because they're so trained to the feed bucket now. They never want to leave the barn. So if I turn them out up there and just let them go like I used to, they spend all day right there at the barn where my feed wagon is because they know that's where the food is. So we're working, trying to get them back into real goat mode, I guess. There, did you go cool off in the creek? You're all wet, buddy. Did you go cool off? Hmm? You feel better now? I know this is not the best option for letting the goats graze, but uh, they are getting their bellies full of good browse on the outside of the fence. It's a good break from, from eating grain couple times a day and just old dried up hay um, when there's a green grass on the ground it's hard for an animal to to eat hay because well they'd rather eat the good green stuff it's just like us we'd rather have the ice cream before the spinach and vegetables but um, we're pretty blessed here I I'm fortunate enough that we're not gonna have to you know sell off animals and all that stuff because of drought conditions and the lack of grass on our pastures um, we can afford to feed the animals and take care of them and everything, but that's just not the case for a lot of farmers and ranchers across the country. I was on Facebook the other day and I saw this article about a, uh, um, a cell barn in Texas where there was literally pickup trucks and trailers full of cattle lined up for like two or three miles down the road. And, um, a lot of places have been hit with this drought for a lot longer than we have probably. It's getting pretty desperate for a lot of farmers and ranchers, and I know what that's going to reflect on on meat prices. So, fortunately, we're blessed enough we can raise our own livestock and raise our own meat and all that. But I know that it's going to hit a lot of people hard in the pocketbook over the next year or two if uh, we don't get some rain soon.
You guys about ready to come in? Yes, no, maybe. It is 8.31, still 102 degrees. So the goats have been out grazing for just almost an hour. I got other stuff to do, so. Good training session, guys. Come on. Come on, goats. There's a gate right over here, y'all. Come on. Come on, goats. Seems to uh, kind of be working. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Come on. Come on, goats. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, goats. Let's go. In you go. In you go. In you go. All right, now I got to shut the gate behind you, Skip. Watch out. Hey, you're on the wrong side of the gate, bro. There we go. Get in here. Copper, get in here. You're going to lead the charge and everybody's going to take off again. Get in the gate. Hey, Farah. What are you doing, little girl? Hey, there's feet out up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, let's go. It's getting dark. Well, there you have it. There's a dry, hot, just miserable Oklahoma hot evening <laughs> at uh 8 30 it's still over 100 degrees so it's too hot that's the story of july and this year over 100 degrees every day right now we're hitting 105 110 it is what it is nothing we can do about it but survive it unlike our grass front yard is completely dead so anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.